The Abbott and Costello program, brought to you by Camel, the cigarette that's first in the service according to actual sales records. See if your throat and your taste don't make Camel a first with you, too. Find out for yourself. Listen to the happy rhythms of Freddie Rich and his orchestra, the swingy songs of Connie Haynes. And with Halloween fast approaching, we remind you of the time Frankenstein met Dracula and said... Hey, Costello, where have you been? What? Where have you been? Why are you all dressed up tonight? Oh, well, but I just came from my cousin Corporal Hugo Costello's wedding. Oh, so your cousin Hugo finally got married, eh? Yeah. Who did he marry? Who did he marry? Yeah. He married a woman. <laughs> you dummy, of course he married a woman. Who ever heard of anybody marrying a man? My mother did. Oh, no. <laughs> Talk sense. Did your uh, cousin Hugo have a military uh, wedding? It must have been. Her father was carrying a gun. Well... <laughs> Well, I hope Hugo will be very happy. I think he will, Abbott. Marriage is so romantic. So Just is. think, his ration books, her ration books, yes. lying side by side on the kitchen table. Yes. That is... That side is, by side. Side by side. Ration books. That is romantic. Ration books side by side. Yes. That's the biggest hole I'm going to drill right here with All right, wait a minute. There's no more. I'll guarantee you. Hey, wait a minute. You do your All right, look, look. Look, by the way, who gave the right away, Costello? Huh? Who gave the right away? Well, uh, let me see. What page are you on? No, never mind. <laughs> who gave the right away? That's what I said. <laughs> Don't you know? It's your own cousin. Oh, uh, nobody. Ah, uh, nobody. No, I could have, but I cut my mouth shut. Oh, no, no. <laughs> no, Costello, I mean, who let her down the aisle? Nobody let her. She knew the way blindfolded. <laughs> Look, Costello, somebody had to lead her down the aisle to meet her spouse. To meet her what? <laughs> to meet her spouse. Hugo is the spouse. Are you lost now? No, no, no. <laughs> no, no, don't you understand? A spouse. H- her spouse. Now, just a minute. Now, wait I got a minute. it. Just a minute. Hugo is her spouse. You can't call Uncle Hugo a spouse. He never touches the stuff. No, no, I don't. <laughs> okay, okay. Then we'll say Hugo was the groom. That's better. He was a groom before he got married, too. Oh, now, wait a minute. How could he be the groom before he got married? He took care of the general's horse. I, oh, <laughs> Well, skip it. Okay. Uh, how, never mind. <laughs> look, uh, how did the ride look, Costello? Was she wearing a corsage? Abbott, how can you ask me such a thing? I'm only a young boy. Oh, now, look. <laughs> I'm only asking you... I'm only asking you if the bride wore a corsage. No, with her shape, she didn't need one. No. <laughs> look, Costello, you saw the bride, didn't you? Sure. Well, what kind of clothes did she wear? Oh, she had a beautiful torso. Torso? Yep. Every bride has to have a torso. Uh, no, 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 Costello. You mean uh, trousseau. Did you uh, see her trousseau? He wasn't there. No. <laughs> Who wasn't there? Robinson Trousseau. No, no. <laughs> listen, Costello, when You're the... You're talking like a kid. No, I'm not talking now. Listen, I'll explain it to you. When the bride came into the church, did you notice her train? What train? She drove up in a second-hand Plymouth. No, no. <laughs> I'm talking about the train on her dress. Now, with every bridal dress, you get a train. What store is giving those away? I bought a suit once. I got a baseball bat and a catcher's mitt, but I never got a train. No, 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 Costello. All right, no, 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 no. Will you please listen? Joke. Yes. When the look when the when the bride walked into the church. Now listen to me, please. When the bride walked into the church, was she dragging anything behind her? Yeah, my cousin Hugo. I uh, no, no. I'm talking about her dress. Did you see that long white piece of goods hanging from her dress? Oh yeah, I saw that. Well, that was her train. That was her train. Yeah. I stripped over that thing and tore it off. You. Tore off her train? Yep. How did the bride look without a train? She looked like a late freight with a loose caboose. <laughs> Costelli, you're not fit to talk to an idiot. Okay, then I'll have to write your note. Costello, will you shut up? All right, all right. Shut up! Now, I have a definite reason for wanting to know about this wedding. Now, listen to me, please. I'm still thinking about your $75 that we have in the bank. Yeah. Now, we're going to make that money... Will you listen to me, please? Turn yeah, around listen. here. Go ahead. All right, now we're going to take that to money. Look at you? Yes. <laughs> we're going to take that money and open a matrimonial agency. We're going to open up a matrimonial agency? That's age. what we're going not to do. Not me, Abbott. Why I not? ain't going to be responsible for sticking guys with mother in laws. Oh, what's not wrong? Not me. What's wrong with mother in laws? Do you, know, you know what a mother in law is? Yes. A mother in law is the Gestapo with bloomers. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, Costello, uh, think, think what a wonderful thing it would be to bring people together. Why, marriage is a wonderful thing. Maybe. But I don't like the part where they throw the rice. 
They threw rice at my cousin Hugo today, and, and it's too messy. Oh, come, come, come. It's too messy. Rice isn't messy. It is messy when it's mixed with chop suey. No oh, nonsense. Weddings are beautiful. Don't you like the old-fashioned unions? No, they itch me all over. No, cut that out. Please. Your underwear doesn't fit our conversation. My under- underwear will fit anything. <laughs> My underwear will fit anything except me. All right, look. Where am I? I don't I... know where you're at. Costello, there's no use arguing. I've, I've made up your mind. Well, you always do. Now, look, here. We're going to take your $75 and open a matrimonial agency. Now, <laughs> look. You know, we can make a fortune by uniting people in bonds of matrimony. The bonds of matrimony? Sure. Are they anything like war bonds? No, matrimony has nothing to do with war. That ain't the way I heard it. <laughs> and besides, Abbott, where are we going to get any customers? A guy has to be making a lot of money nowadays in order to get married. Oh, that's ridiculous. Do you know what I, I was getting when I was married? Do I know what you was getting when you got married? Yes. No, and I'll bet you didn't either. No, I didn't. I, get out of here. In Saipan, one Marine says to another, Hey, Joe, you got a camel? And his pal says, Sure, and hands him one. The same thing happens on an aircraft carrier off the Philippines and in the fighting beyond Aachen. And then, too, people at home are smoking more than ever before. So, unfortunately and unavoidably, there will be times when your dealer has to say to you, Sorry, no camels today when you ask for them. But remember this. Camel's kind, cool, throat-easy mildness and camel's rich, full, fresh flavor make camels worth asking for again the very next time you buy cigarettes. T-A-M-E-L-S. Camels, the cigarette of costlier tobaccos. Inspired by Lou Costello's matrimonial venture, Freddie Rich and his musical matchmakers play The Very Thought of You, featuring the trumpet of Paul Giles. Matrimonial agency. Everything is laying around the office here. Yeah. Look, Abbott. What? Who painted our names on those office doors? I did. You did? Huh? You, you see, on my door it says, uh, Bud Abbott, senior partner, and your door says, uh, Lou Costello, junior. I don't like the way you spell junior. What do you mean? J A N I T O R. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to clean up in this business. Oh. Oh, come on, Costello. Answer the phone. It might be a reply to the matrimonial ad that I put in the papers this morning. Hello, hello, hello. Abbott and 
Ben Costello's matrimonial agency. If you furnish the money, we'll get you a honey. Say, do you think you could find me a wife? You see, I've got to have a wife. I've got two million dollars. I'll give the girl a million dollars, and I'll give you a million dollars for your fee. A million dollars for me? Oh, boy! Come right over to the office. I can't come over. They won't let me out of here. But I'm all right, I tell you. I'm all right. <laughs> hey, Abbott, what? what paper did you put that ad in? The uh, Hardware Journal. I thought so. One of the nuts just called up. I'm looking for a man. I've got to have a man. I must have a man. I tell you, I must have a man. Lady, put me down!